So I'm recording the my new regulated Alteris regulated uh, Crowl Puncher Jumbo in 25 uh, with my added or modified here we go uh, cover. Anyway, today I'm out at the range and uh, there are a ton of ticks. I already found three or four ticks on me, so I'm just going to shoot out to exactly 100 yards. Um, I did one test trial and it came really nice. Let's see what we get. 99 yards or 100 yards. 99. So there you go. Wow, look at those three shots. Woo! Oh! All right. Beautiful. Very nice, 10 shots. All right, so uh, the regulated gun is a hell of a lot better than unregulated just simply because even if I have an extreme spread of 40 or 45, I could still fill to 3625, or 3626 to be exact, and I'm getting about 75 shots, and I can see the consistency is really nice, and I'm gonna show you this with this 100-yard, uh, 10-shot group. Take a look. So here we are at 100 yards. We were shooting from all the way down there. Okay. So look at this 10 shot group here. I mean, this is, I would say an inch this way or less. Well, we'll go one inch this way and about, remember this is a three inch, from center to here is three inches. This is a six inch disc. So this is about, I'm going to say about one and three quarters by one inch with one flyer. So this was my first sighting in group. I was just seeing if even the uh, scope held at zero after all that work I did on it. Look what this did right out of the box. It was shooting just a little low because I had it set for 100 yards. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is shoot two more groups here, 100, I'm gonna shoot a few more 100 yard groups and uh, let's see if we can't get it tighter than this. I'm gonna leave this one up. Yeah, I don't know why the camera died, but it just died. We're about on our, I don't know, seventh, eighth shot. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's go take a look at these last two groups. Now, mind you, I'm a little bit distracted by ticks. So, take that into account. But no excuses. This is it. I'm not a not the best shot, but it looks pretty good. All right. So, back over at 100 yards. Check this out. This group is, so it's three inches from here to here. This is about two and a half by one. So this group here is about, I would say this is two and a half by one inch. And look at this last group here. This is, I believe, 11 shots, uh, maybe 10, whatever. Uh, this is one and a half by two all right so all right so as you can see anyway uh at 100 yards the new uh, puncher jumbo with the alteros regulator is 
is very, very good and very, very strong. Here, let me show you how strong it is. So just to show you how strong the Puncher Jumbo 62 foot-pounds of energy, this is a cast iron. Yeah, this is not cheap. This is cast iron. Look what it did. Here, listen. Cast iron. It went right, one shot went right through it. So this is an update to the uh, Alteros regulator install. Um, what I'm going to do is a shot string today and just fill you in on two other things that I forgot to fill you in on the first video. Uh, so what's happening is once you install the Alteros regulator, you have a manometer and a fill port here. But on the gun, you also have down here a fill and a manometer. But what's happening, you will not use the fill port from the original uh, that's in the block. You're going to use the fill port that's now on the Alteros regulator. So what you want to do is just put some O-rings around it so you don't make a mistake. Um, plus, remember, you'll have to use the original crawl puncher, uh, jumbo, proprietary uh, fill nipple. It's, you, know, you won't be using that anymore. You'll just use a, a regular Foster fill. And now down here, this gauge, which used to be the bottle fill, is now the regulated pressure. Uh, so it's set at 150. Let's see if I can let you see that. Okay. Hopefully you're seeing that. That's about 150, okay? So again, you will not use this fill nipple, and this is now on the bottom of the gun is your regulated uh, pressure. This is your bottle pressure. I have it set to, sorry, I have it set to 3,500 roughly. And then on the other side is your fill port. Now this is what you're gonna be filling. Use this to fill, and that's a regular Foster. Uh, okay, so I so. will be shooting the uh, King Mark II, uh, 30, 33.95 grain, 25 caliber. I have uh, 50 ready to go. I already did a test run, uh, but I didn't post it because I wasn't pleased with it. I got about 75 shots but the extreme spread was 42. There was a, a few dips down to 850, which I didn't like. And then there was a dip up to 893. So it was too much. I, I figured the regulator didn't set in. So this has been sitting like this for about a day and a half, two days. Um, I've shot a few through as well, try to balance it out. It seems like it's stable. So let, let's, let's run through it. Again, I'll spare you uh, the happening to have to sit here and watch me shoot everything. I'll speed it up. I will be recording it as well. So now that the regulator has been installed and it's been a few days, uh, I've shot three uh, strings. I have uh, records here. Again, I'll spare you the watching me shoot here. Uh, but here's the bottom line. Uh, so the first string I shot was 75 shots and the extreme spread was 42, not good at all. It was, the low was 851, and the high was 893. All right, so that is, again, I record everything I do. The second shot string, which was a day later, uh, again, I'd left the air in there. It actually got worse, extreme spread of 51, same 75 shots. Uh, and again, this is a fill of 3,500, PSI. I'm not changing anything. Uh, it can go to 3625. I can get an extra 125 PSI if I want, but I, I'm not. Let's just say 75 good shots. So the second day was uh, an extreme spread of 51, and that was a low of 847, a high of 898. So it got even worse. I don't know what to say. Again, a, a waste of 150 pellets. I don't know. Now, here I'm going to put up, this is the third day. Uh, this was now sitting, the regulator sat for three days, and this was before I went out, what you just saw uh, minutes ago, uh, me shooting out at the range. I think those group three groups are really, really nice. This was an extreme spread of 38. Again, 75 shots, uh, and you'll see, I'm going to cover myself. You'll see the graph in front of you. Um, I actually have the graph, too. Uh, it was a low of 869, a high of 907. 
And if you look around shot 25, it spiked up and went into the 900s. So from 869 to 904, that is pretty much the most extreme, uh, near, near the extreme spread. Uh, because we're talking 35 right there, three more, and that's the total extreme. So in one shot, it went from 869 to 904. And then it seems to have leveled out for a little bit, and then it dropped down. Uh, so it looks like the regulator is getting better. Uh, but again, this is not the greatest. But as you can see from the shooting earlier, that the uh, shot string was very solid. I will post a, uh, an update in this, I, not, I won't update the video, I'll just update uh, in, the, in the comments if I get a better shot string. I, do exp I really expected to see more like an extreme spread of 20 at most. Um, so 38, I guess that's okay. Now the great thing about, and why I'm not complaining and say, well, that regulator sucks. Remember, I can fill this bottle to 3600 PSI and I can shoot all the way down to 100 bar. So from 250 bar to 100 bar, that's a lot of shots. And with only an extreme spread of 38, if it was unregulated, the same 36, uh, 3600 PSI to, uh, or 250 bar down to 100 bar would produce a way larger spread. I mean, I would be shooting in the 780s uh, in the start because there's so much pressure behind the poppet uh, at 3,600 PSI or 250 bar, and then it would peak up really high in the 900s. You, um, you would have that uh, bell curve that you would see. And, um, you know, so having this regulator in here really is pretty good, even if it's uh, right now a, an extreme spread of 38.